business and how it works. Yesterday we had discussed some uh, introduction part about the international business, uh, which are related with the four semester also in the global marketing and global and service marketing is there. The same concept is over here also. Now today we are going to learn about uh, in a good knowledge about international business. What does it mean? First, we will refer what is the meaning of it, how it works, what are the importance and what are the main factors and what is the work of it. Yeah, please have a look on the screen. IB international business refers to the trade of goods, services, technologies, capital and our knowledge across national borders and at the global or transnational scale. It involves cross-borders transactions goods and services between two or more countries. International business is also known as globalization or global business or global marketing. Now, what he wants to explain, it refers to the, that means exchanging of goods, services, technologies, idea, capital, knowledge across national borders from one country, that means what are the borders are there with our country with them apart from that the other countries also which are far away what are the boundaries countries for india pakistan afghanistan china nepal Bhutan, bangladesh sri lanka myanmar these are the countries apart from that if they want to have the exchange of goods and services ideas and technologies creativity capital knowledge of the gdp all the transactions between two or more countries that is nothing but international business for example india is very good in the production of food grains so where they can have they can make a good transaction with the neighboring countries as well as the other countries which are far like europe countries so in europe countries like the onion black pepper huge demand of india mangoes of india many products which are in huge demand cotton jute these are the uh, goods which are available, that means import and export takes place between two or more countries. So the Europe countries like Spain, Chile, France, Germany, Poland, UK, Switzerland, Austria, Portuguese, Croatia, uh, Czech, Belgium, Denmark, Poland, Netherlands, uh, Belarus, uh, Bulgaria, Romania. Madonosia, all these are the countries which are having a good rapport with India. Next, all the goods and all the transactions are having are taking place between these two countries are known as international business. I hope students you understand the meaning. Now let's have a look. Business activities. What are the business activities which are taking place? Like marketing, exchanging of the goods, marketing, financing, HR. IT, technology, innovation, R&D, all the activities, manufacturing, supplying, transportation, all the packaging, labeling, mm, uh, marketing, assembling, all this comes out of the business activities also. How the transaction sort of takes place, how, who is the buyer, who is the seller, who is ordering, who are the target customers, everything becomes out of this. So the business activities is done across national borders as well as international borders borders and business. The international business is the purchasing and selling of the goods or commodities. Commodity means here goods only, utilities, like okay, things and services outside its national borders. Such trade modes might be owned by the state or privately owned organizations. Now, uh, what are the goods are taking place between one country? Like for example, in this COVID, uh, many countries are sending their medical aid to India as uh, many people are dying and many people are suffering because of this COVID in this pandemic 2021. So what are the businesses taking place? So they are sending what are the services they can give or some we are purchasing the uh, medicines of COVID-19 we are getting the medicines all these things we are sending some goods all the transactions are that is taking place between two or more countries international business now next thing the international business exports its goods and services all over the world so in the international business they are having some international laws are also there 
so international license will be there given so with the help of that license what they can do they can sell their goods within the uh, where ever in the world they can send with fulfilling the international norms now it helps a country to earn valuable foreign exchange which can be used to pay for imports and foreign exchanges helps to make the business more profitable and to strengthen the economic of the country yes to strengthen the to bring or to progress the GDP of a country the goods for example what are the goods are selling here if we are selling the same goods in another country we will get some uh, in terms more profitable than our host country, our home country for example uh, India that means USA dollar one dollar is equal to Indian almost 80 to 70 to 80 rupees in between so for example think that India is is sending the some medical uh, goods to the America where in India it just costs 200 rupees per packet if same the same thing if they are sending over there they can sell it via uh, with a dollar um, 30 dollars rupees that's 20 dollars or 10 dollars rupees with a packet consists of 10 dollars somewhere yeah, that can easily buy over there so their ten dollars is equal to how many here? Ten into eight hundred rupees per packet. This is an example I am saying. The same packet which you are selling here in India, it cost was two hundred. If you are selling the same goods in America, it is costing we are getting eight hundred dollars. So we are having we can generate or we can uh, bring more profit to our country. When we are getting the more profit, then we can. Economically, we are strong and strength one person. So this is the main criteria of doing international business to bring the to uh, bring the opportunities of unemployment. That means we can up uh, to some percentage of unemployment will be reduced. We we'll get more profits. We we'll get more jobs. We we'll can get more opportunities to work. We we'll get more business. We we'll get more relationship between two or more countries. We are having some international. Bonders will be there. We are going to be have our image, our quality, our product will be using by other countries. Now, the international business exports its goods and services all over the world. It helps a country to earn valuable foreign exchange, which can be used to pay for imports. Now, foreign exchange helps to make the business more profitable to strengthen the economy of a country. Yes, what we discuss now. There are five forms of international business. What are those five forms of business? One is importing and exporting. The importance was a goods or services brought into our country from another country. Exporting means the goods which are going from our country to another country. Licensing. Licensing is what? It's a permission. It's a uh, legal permission from one country to another country in the international level. Licensing is one of the other ways to expand the business internationally. That to be a legal process. Franchising. Franchising is closely related to the licensing. It is that means the same name, same brand, we can run the business in other countries. And we have to pay for that franchising for using the name and fame and brand logo. We have to pay some percentage of the profit. Now, strategic partnerships and joint ventures. Foreign direct investments. All these things we have discussed in the last class or in our first sum also. Hope students are understanding the concept. Now, overview. What is the mean overview of the international business for yesterday's class and today's class? What is international business? In simple term, a common balance, international business is all commercial transactions between two countries. What are the commercial transactions? Business transactions, whether private transactions or government transactions. Now, why should one study international business as a subject? The thing is, Nowadays, in common parlance, are generally international business or IP is a large portion of the global business, and the portion is rapidly growing due to globalization. And requirement of some specific knowledge is essential to conduct international business. Okay, now international business to run the international business, we need a management. We need international management should be there. What does it? International management refers to the study of issues and problems that arise from the management of international, multinational, and global organization. 
Understood students. International management will sort study of issues and problems. What are the issues will be there? What are the problems will be there? What is the procedure? What is the process? Everything raising acquiring of the management, international level, multinational, global level. All these things will be taken into the international management. So the study of issues and problems, wherever the problems are raising, wherever the issues are raising, these people are going to fill up those rises, that gaps to find the solution for that issues and problems. So international management will help you. However, organization and management theories are visually or western in their cultural assumptions by and large Anglo-American in their values. For this, in our next classes, you will be able to understand what is the main concept of it. I hope students have understand the concept. Please mention your uh, phone numbers in the comment box for attendance purpose. From tomorrow onwards, we are having a good and interesting topics. Thank you. Have a nice day.